Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to uh, develop embedded firmware using Rust. So I will make a video on using HTML32 uh, in the future. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to install all the uh, compiler and uh, the library header files using this command. So we'll just uh, uh copy and paste it i'll leave the link uh leave these commands in the description so you can just copy and paste it so these are the generic uh this is a abr library this gcc compiler this is package config to find the uh gcc location and the abr dude is used to flash your uh, firmware into your uh, code so i already have everything so it just completed so if you don't have these things you will uh, it will uh, download and install and if you are using windows uh, uh, you can use wsl windows subsystem for linux and run these commands in under ubuntu to get it working so let's uh, go and uh, install cargo generate so cargo generate is used to um, create projects from template so we are going to use a template called uh, abr called template from github uh, so in order to get that we first have to install uh, this cargo generate so if you don't uh, have rust uh, installed in your system so i'll leave a link in the description but, uh, you can follow this uh, tutorial to install rust first uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I already have Cargo Generate installed. So it is it just uh, it'll just download and install the Cargo Generate package. Cargo install Dave Dude. This will uh, allow you to use ADR Dude from um, within the Cargo build environment. You just copy and uh, paste here. So everything is already installed in my system. So it is just uh, going to give you some. Um, if, if you don't have it yet, you will you will it will download and compile and install. It will take uh, quite a long time. But since I have it uh, installed in my system already, it is just uh, uh, saying it is already installed. Now I am going to create a new project using Cargo Generate. So this will uh, create a new project in this uh, scripts directory so i'm just pasting it here so we need to enter the name for our project let's make it okay now you know so i have an Arduino you know so i am selecting Arduino you know so if you have nano or mega board you select accordingly and that's all the project is already generated so now you can see the project directory is created here i'm just going to move into the directory and uh, we can just run cargo build it will just build your uh, project so it will take some time uh, when the for the first time if you are running it for the first time it will take some time uh, and it is a quite cpu intensive task compiling and that's all we have the project compiled so let's open the project in visual studio code You can see this is the default uh, uh, the template will come with this code uh, in your main.rs file it is just a blinky program here we are uh, initializing the peripherals of Arduino, and we are uh, like taking uh, the pins using this pins macro and uh, from there we are unpacking the uh, the 13 pin we are just toggling it so 
it is running in a loop so just like an Arduino, uh, all the configuration runs in this main uh, function and uh, once the configuration is done the yeah once the configuration is done the super loop will run forever and uh, yeah let's flash it so i have my uh, as for the plan i have my Arduino connected uh, to my usb port so you can see ls usb see my this is usb to serial adapter that is connected to my uh Arduino, you know you can uh, find uh, at which port it is connected using ls dev tty so it is uh, tty usb 0 as you can see here so then i am just going to um run this uh rave dude port uh, since we are going to use uh, rave dude to um, upload the program to your Arduino board we are going to use uh, this rave dude port environment variable so if without this uh, the cargo run command will uh, see it is saying serial port not found and once you export this And run cargo so it is just compiling and uploading the program everything is uh, done so as you can see in the corner here the led blinking is done and that's all if you have any uh, doubt regarding this procedure or if you have any um, like if you want to dive deep into embedded development using rest let me know. I will try to make a video on it soon. Thank you.